Hey everyone, Retro Girls UK back for a brand new video and today's video is we're going to be purging some more stuff from the collection, so video games, etc. It's never ending, we're going through our collection slowly but surely. So if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe and most importantly don't forget to hit that notification bell to get all the latest updates So what we're waiting for. show you what we're going to be purging i do apologize i'm in my scruff clothes today as you'd say because we yeah until we go out because we've got loads of stuff to purge we already started but we're still not finished so i'm going to show you in a few minutes um after this clip or with next for you of what we're purging okay as you can see lisa is currently doing the things lisa say hi over yeah so tell them what you're up to lisa wow the PS4 games used to be here, so we moved the PS4 games over there because we purged that side so there was loads of gaps. And then I said to Michelle that she could have the, the whole shelf here for any purging and stuff because the Scooby Doo shelf down there was literally running out of room. It's like Scooby Doo, Nick Clojure, etc. So, I'm out of breath, so I'm putting all the Nick Clojure stuff up here. Okay, so. And the PS4 games, too, is it? Yeah. What, 350? There's a no, hang on, wait, wait, wait. If we continue, there's a season up there, you need to get the green box. So, just going to show you, you'll see what we've done. So, if you've ever seen our thumbnails, um, on like pictures or our background on our YouTube page, and uh, we've showed you the, uh, or the community post showed you what we had, and this was all this originally was PS2 games, one of these, of the little corner. So now we're currently reorganising, so we've got all that. I need to put all the figures up, all the PS2 games. We've kept the ones that we're going to play, most likely. Well, I say likely, most of them we have played. So, Lisa, do you want to tell me about the PS2 games? What we got rid of, what type we got rid of? Well, we got rid of, like, um, like the quizzes, um... Well, Sports games. Racing games. Uh, we got rid of some like Final Fantasies. You'll see in a bit. I'll go through what we're get, getting rid of. But as you can see, we've, we've reorganised it. We've, I still need to sort this out. I'm in my scruff, so I apologise if you see my toes and all this crap that people say. <laughs> so we put all the games there, the special editions. I have got some for Zoom in. Special editions up there. I need to still organise. At least I've got a widget, so. Got figures, got stuff on the bed to put away. Got a stack of games down there which we we'll currently need to sort through. So we're having a good old clear out. Oh yeah. So Lisa has finally completed it. Knackered man, so hot. These are these are, won't be here for long once I fill it up. There's gaps on the Scooby Doo shelf. There's we zoom in, you can see Millie in the background. Some bags of trade there, got bags of trade. Next job is actually, I need to get Chippendale because I'll show you a hint. We did get, I showed it on a video, we got Chippendale off mum and dad and hey Arnold. But Lisa, I need to get Chippendale down. Yeah, and there's a Hannah Bob there, a box up there too, look the red one. Yeah. And I've got Penelope pit stop somewhere as well. I think that's behind. Yeah, somewhere. Okay, so we've got a bag of stuff to trade. I've got another. Move Lisa's feet. Sorry. Another two bags. Well, Lisa, will you do the honours and get me a fresh can out because my glasses warm? Oh, yes, wife. But I'll show you what we're trading I'll tell you why. So we're going to trade in Resident Evil Code Veronica X. Some of these do have manuals. Would you open it for me, please? Uh, what's the reason we're trading this one in, Lisa? Because I'm not the... Because we're never going to play, let's be honest. Uh, so it's just sitting on the shelf. I don't think we've actually played that since we bought I, it. I played it back in the day, but I haven't played it since. Yeah. Um... Got some more games with that, but you get a couple of quid voucher. I do remember us paying one pound for this. All the prices will be on the on the screen. So we got mashed, drive to survive, 
with manual. I'm not going to go for everyone with manual, but 50p. Mo 90%. 50p we played. Um, played it. I wasn't a big fan of it. Um, a lot of these we did buy back in the day just for random reasons. But when we didn't have many games, we just bought like games to build the collection up. Yeah, so I got Iron Ranger. I think I paid like 30p for this. It is complete with manual. We got Ninja Assault. This is Namco, so you do have the gun. We've got the gun game, but I want to buy it in the box with the gun, so I'm going to get rid of that. Summoner. For some reason, this isn't on the CX website, even though we did buy it for CX. When I scanned the barcode in, as everyone knows, it's showing you America one, but they do sell it, obviously, with that. Completely manual. Grand Trismo, because we've got the PS5, so we're going to buy the new ones. We do, we have kept a lot of racing games. So it's Grand Trismo 4. We like to show people what we're trading in, so then you know how much voucher we're getting. Because then you might see a car boot or charity shop, you might be, oh, I can buy that and sell it. Yeah, we, how big of that, man. Yeah, so we've got Downtown. Run some of them are a little bit damaged on the outer edge, but most of these we actually get for CX details for a label. Um, friends, because Lisa had two copies the trivia game, <laughs> this is completely manual. Uh, road trip, because I'm never gonna play it, it's just sitting on the shelf. Uh, I do like my arcade games, but I've kept them for the PS1 and the Sega Saturn and the Dreamcast. They're the racing games we mainly kept, ain't we? Mm -hmm. Um, MX Rider, um, because I like the PS3 uh, um, off-road, what's it called, motorbike, motocross racing. There's still loads to come. So, Wild Wild Racing. Again, because we're not going to play it. We kept all the cartoon games. Time Splitters 2, I know Time Splitter 1 is in the bundle somewhere. Um... If we do change our mind of keeping these going through, I will let you know. I was um and I've been able to keep this. This might be a keeper. I'm not too sure. This is called Smash Cars. It's an RC car one, so this might be a possibility keeping. But we'll still put the price on the screen. Keep that aside, Lisa. Yes, yeah, sure. Gun Com 2, because I've, I've played it. I've finished most of it. Not much sort of game. I just played it for the sake of it when I first got it. Midnight Club 3, because... We don't really play on the PS2 these type of games. We play more like the rally games and the cartoon racing games. Resident Evil 4, only because I'd rather play the newer gen. Yes, you can't beat the older gen, but I'm sure you could buy a triple pack. I'm not too bothered about these. I want to get the Japanese version. Does that sound weird? No. Because I want to get the Region 3 PS2 again. So I'm going to get the Japanese version because I like the artwork. You can't beat Resident Evil on the PS1, though. Yeah, I do want to buy them on the PS1 Resident Evil. Mm. Maxed out racing again. Because we just don't want to keep the racing games. Uh, WRC Rally Evolved. Because I like the rally games on the, the 360. Final Fantasy X. Because I've got a Final Fantasy on the PS4 and I'm not going to play this. It's just sitting there. Pride Fighting Championship because I want to buy the newer UFCs. I do like the old ones, but... Why not? I'm going to get a UFC on the PS5, which is actually... I'm going to have a look later, see where it's in stock. But. Pardon me. Gift. A weird bloody game. It was good, but it was weird. It might be... A, I might watch the gameplay again, but I'll let you know. At least I keep that to the side. Yeah. Dynasty Warriors 2, because I played it back in the day. I replayed it. It wasn't that as good as I remember. Dynasty Warriors 3. These are completely manual. And they're in mint condition, the games are. Jewel Masters, limited edition. I'm surprised Lisa didn't keep this. Unfortunately, this doesn't include the trading cards, I don't think. But it is completely manual. I've got that on the Game Boy. Yeah, at least it's got on the Game Boy. Midnight Club, because we're not keeping them. World Racing, bunch of shite. Space Invaders, because a lot we've got Space Invaders on PS1 that I wasn't a big fan of. This, but I want to get the Switch version of Space Invaders, so I thought, why not get rid of it? Babe, I never played it, but I rewatched the gameplay before I got rid of this. This was just a blind bite at the time. Absolutely dog shite. Literally, all you're doing is walking around as the, that pig. It so, looks so boring. And the main manager, I, don't, I need to clean it off, it's like sticker residue. Um... I will give that after clean. Gumball 3000, I think that's a racing game. 
rubbish game, to be fair. It's just been sitting on the shelf. Uh, the car, too. Another rally game. I prefer the newer gen rally games. I, and I, I actually prefer the Saturn rally games and the Dreamcast. And then, Euro Rally Championship. Same reasons. Juice 2. I can't get into this as much. I used to play this back in the day, but not as good. I like that on PSP. Yeah, as Lisa said. I actually prefer it in handheld mode. Yeah. Like, I love Ridge Racer games. I like the arcade, so Dirt, Track Devils. We bought this just because at the time we didn't have many games and it was cheap at the time. Again, I don't know why we're getting rid of this one because it looks fun. Downforce. Have a look at this, Lisa, again. Tell me if you're going to keep it. Racers, GT, again. Too many racing games. In television li lives, the history games include like, loads of them, but we've got a um, art, a plug and play with them games in. So that's everything in that bag. I'm going to get to the next bag and then see what goodies we've got to sell. Okay, again, another bag. You probably recognise this bag from a lot of the trade videos. The good old bottling strong bags. We've got a bunch of games. Like, I've got another bag of games as well. You can be thinking, what are they doing? So we'll go through them again. You're going to see a theme. So we've got international supercarts. Let me just move this back down. No idea how much voucher you get. You'll see it on screen. I've already scanned it, but I can't remember there's been that many games. Robot Wars. I used to love this game, but I'm like, it's not as good as I remember. Second Sight. What's the reason you're getting rid of this, Lise? Because I'm never going to play it. Lisa's more the gangster game, ain't you? Yeah. The soft thing, yes, it is a copy cover, but we actually did buy us a CX like that. So hopefully they retake it back. I don't think they will. I think they're going to say, oh, no, it's a reprint. Yeah, but we shouldn't stay there, But we'll see. We'll let you know at the end. Need for Speed Pro, Spe uh, Pro Street, because we've got a Need for Speed. Did you, buy, did you buy Need for Speed, yeah? On the PS4. No, the Switch. The Switch. We've got a, a PS yeah, Switch game. Yeah, so that's the reason why we're getting rid of all them. Um, shock rally invent shocks rally inv uh, reinvented. Most of these do have manuals. Most of these we paid quite cheap, but the price have gone up since. Heroes of Might and Magic, rubbish game. Smugglers Run, never played it, but it's just sitting there. And I I'm only keeping mainly the cartoony style games. Uh, we've kept one or two pinball games, but obviously these are the ones we'll get rid of. Flipnik is a Ubisoft, Ubisoft game. Like it, but there's a better game that we own. Extreme Express, I tried it. Wasn't as good as I remember. Again, Need for Speed. No specific reason, but just because we've got some of the Need for Speeds on the newer gen consoles. We kept a few racing games. Sims busting out because I've got it on the GameCube or, or Xbox. I thought, why keep it on the PS2? Alter Echo. Truthfully, I don't know why I'm getting rid of this. This? I don't even think this is supposed to be in the stack of games. Oh, keep it to the side and I'll give you an update once I've watched the game, please. Space Invaders Invasion. And this isn't your typical Space Invaders game. As you can see, it's like you walk along shooting as a person. But I played it. We got most of the way through and then for no point. Midway Arcade Treasures. We was going to keep this because it's got like Rampage on, but... We're never going to play it again, and it is completely manual as well. Really minty manual. Star Ocean, I bought this before Christmas, and I thought I'm going to get the newer Star Ocean, so I paid one or two pounds for this, and it is, I think it's two discs. It's two discs, completely manual as well, or manual as Lisa would say. Need for Speed, same reason as others. Because we've got a new and need for speed. God Eye, Elemental Force. Wasn't my sort of game. Rubbish game, to be fair. How can you get rid of Reckless Yakuza missions, Lise? Because I'm never uh, going to play it. I watched the game play and it didn't look all that good, to be fair. Was it just a blind buy at the time? Yeah, it was only like 50p. It's gone up in price, I think. Rune, Viking, Warlord. I got rid of this because... When I played it, it was so glitchy and it was just not as good. Pinball fun because we've got we've kept a pinball game. I think it's gone down in price. This is an anime pinball game, which 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, another valley game because we've got on um, um, Saturn. We had two who wants to be a millionaire. So Lisa said, "Shall get rid of the one who wants to be a millionaire, the more expensive one. Keep the cheaper one because you don't need two copies." And we've got it on the Switch as well. Who wants to be a millionaire? Uh, a racing game, Extreme G Racing. One we have got another one, but we're selling as part of a bundle for like a five on marketplace bundle. Of, 10 games or something but this one's worth selling in because some days you only get one p again time splitters played it not as good as i remember two rock because you can get this on other consoles i'm sure you can get an xbox i'm not 100 percent but it's worth more money now so I might trade it in sims love the sims games but i've got them on xbox i thought why keep it on ps2 oh, and it is an eye toy game sims 2 pets I'm not 100% sure if you can get this on the Xbox. So let's go to the back. Unless Lisa wants to get my phone and have a look now. I'm going to give you an update. Yeah, who's what am I looking at? Sims 2 to see if you can get on Xbox. Right, okay. World War 2 um, over Pacific. Because uh, it's not as good as fun as I like Top Gun games. Wipeout Fusion because you can get the newer ones on PS4. Kesson 2 and Kesson 1. I don't know why I'm getting rid of these. To be fair... Possibility might be keeping. I should have really. I need to check the gameplays. Some of the games I wasn't meant to take out. These um, are... Update You can get Sims 2 on original. No, Xbox. Sims 2 Pets. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, that's the only Sims 2 that you Okay, can Sims 2 Pets is a keeper then. Yeah. Unfortunately, he's just got to fill the gaps in back in again. <laughs> but that's all I would do that after. I might watch the gameplay season and I'll get back to you whether they're any good, whether I want to keep them or not. So, Lisa was saying you can get Sims 2 Pets, let me have a look, on the GameCube for six quid. So, I'll get rid of it and get on the GameCube. It'll give me to, in the trade pile, Lisa, yeah. so I can show. But, so, that's I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to heart it on. Ooh, you can get on the PSP. So, what I'll do is I'll go back. So, it's always good. I'd recommend you've got to see it except hearty. I'm going to heart that and that'll be one to, to get on the GameCube. Yep. And I'll, you are. Shall I see if it's local? Yeah, go on, Lisa's going to check now. Wonderful. No, the closest store is Castleford. Never heard of it. But I can always buy it on eBay if not. So could you do me a favour? Can you check some YouTube for Kesson? And we'll get back to them whether I'm going to keep it. Or however you bloody pronounce this game. So, a bit of an update. We just watched the gameplay. In seconds for you lot, but not for us. And it's like an over-the-top game like Age of Empires. I'm not going to keep these two, so these are going to get rid of. So, show now... How much do we get? I have no idea. It'll be on the screen as usual. And then Kess and Two, they are both complete. With manual as well. And we've got another bag, which I'll get back to you in a moment. So, we're on the next bag now. It's in the Western Supermare bag. So, if you haven't already seen the Western Supermare video, do go and check it out. As we do have two videos. We did a charity shop hunting one, and we did an actual vlog. So, we're going for the games again. So, we've got Dr. Doolittle. It is complete with manual. Oh, what? So literally just walk around the bloody city and you give them medication that animals shit. Over the top view. Hey, you, yeah, over the top view, which I don't mind. There's a theme coming now with these. So, got Bratz Diamonds. Okay, the Bratz games, I have to admit, do look fun. I've already got one in the Wii, haven't I? Mm -hmm. and, uh, but when I what Lisa went back and watched the gameplay, because you said you played these back in the day, didn't you? Yeah, and I wanted to remind myself of what them games are like. Yeah. Lisa watched it back and she's like, everyone, you literally do the same thing in there other than the odd things, so I'm going to get rid of them. So some of them are worth good vouchers, some isn't. They're all completely manual. So you've got Bratz, Do Bratz Diamonds, Bratz the Movie, and Bratz Rock Angels. I've actually got Bratz on the PS4, which is quite decent. Again, Lisa's getting rid of Sharknado on Steelbook because... Did we do a video on it? Yeah. If you do check out when we went to Birmingham City Centre, uh, Lisa picked up a box set of Sharknado. So do check out that video. It's the one with all the reprints in. Again, we got getting rid of God of War. Um, it's a 20 quid game. I paid £1 for this not long ago. But I've got it on the PS4, the remaster, so I'm going to get rid of that. It's not completely manual, unfortunately. Extreme bowling because Lisa likes the Flintstones bowling, don't you, better? Yeah, I do. Can't beat the Flintstones bowling. Again, basketball exciting because I'm not really into. I like the, the, the like you know like the FIFA Street Star games. Um, Cartoon Network racing because no, that's not going there, is it? 
We're not going to sell this because the disc is scratched. It doesn't work. We bought it from CX originally like that. But I'm going to go and take it to get this clean. But we will show on screen. If it if you did sell it, we'll, we'll show you how much you would get. So that, we're going to get this clean, don't we? Yeah. Alien versus Predator Extinction because you didn't like it, did you? It was boring. It wasn't as good as I thought it would be. You want to try the Predator game? Yeah. And it's completely manual. This Ace Combat, I paid £1 this one charity shop before Christmas. I don't think you get four quid for it or something. 18 Wheeler. The only reason you got this was at an arcade and you played it. You said the arcade was much more fun. We have got a scene where it's in the loft, but you said you'll get rid of it and you want to get more of the, the ones on the Saturn, don't you? Yeah, don't you? Slash Dreamcast. Uh, Big Mother Truckers to truck me harder. <laughs> Is it because you completed this? Yeah. Uh, Call of Duty Infinity War uh, Legacy Edition. Obviously, it's not a legacy because that's it. just be Call of Duty Infinity War. We normally had two copies at least. It's not a big fan. It's, I've just kept one copy for the storyline. Uh, Pixar. Because I've never played it, it's just been sitting on the shelf. I paid like a quid for it, so I thought, get rid of it. I might get on the Switch. These are the type of games I prefer to have in handheld mode. And then we've got another bag, which everyone is going to be so shocked of. Okay, so we've got another bag, and as you'll see, there's horrors in there, friends. You're going to be thinking, why is Lisa getting rid of her favourite series and favourite movies? Do you want to tell them why? I'm going to pan the camera to you, Lisa. Are you camera ready? Uh, no, I'm not camera ready, but if you can put the camera. Because I thought to myself, there's no point wasting space, precious space on the shelf with, like, shrines. Like, screen needs to be there, friends up there. Like, look at the gap up there. So I thought to myself... I'll just keep the 4K still books on the standard 4K as a screen, and I'll just keep the Blu-ray box set of friends. The 4K box that's coming out, so you can't wait for that. So yeah, I thought I'd just get rid of the stuff. I did keep the VHS tapes though, and they're down there back of the VHSs. So, are you going to be getting rid of your Fright Nighters? I know you've got three copies of Fright Nighters, so that's the set you can show. I've got two copies. No, you've got the German copy, you've got the Eureka copy, and you've got another Eureka copy. Oh, yeah. I've got a Eureka VHS box set of Fright Night. I think you should get rid of that one. It's one copy left, I think, of CX, and it's 28 quid to buy. £18 voucher, and I'm not parting ways with that because it's super rare. And I don't know whether to part ways with the... No, you should part ways with the VHS so they take up less room. It means you can buy the 4K. I don't even know where it is, to be honest. It's up there with the Eurekas. But, yeah. Apparently, I need to get rid of the Fright Night. I apologise. I can't part, 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 I can't give away that, Bill. Can't part ways with the fight, aren't we? Okay. So, hard. so I'm going to go through the stuff. If you're wondering why there's just this TMNT, we've got a new foil coming. So Lisa's been having a clear out, haven't you? Mm -hmm. So I don't know if they're going to take it in that condition. If they're not, you're going to set a market, please, ain't you? Yeah. Oops. So it's Friends Complete Series. I'm not sure how much you get for this, but... I think it's a £4 voucher. But what I found out not long ago, that box set, when I was scanning it in, yeah, that doesn't even have a barcode, so I have to type it in manually. Okay. So, you're going to have it under. So you've got the Screen Trilogy on Blu-ray. You'll see the theme, people. It's my screen shot. Screen Trilogy on it's DVD, done. which, I, which if I open this up, does make a picture, which I'm surprised Lisa's getting rid of. Okay, hang on, hang on. Don't tell me things like that. No. Blah, 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 blah. Screen Trilogy, again on DVD. Yes, I'm a hoarder. Hashtag Lisa's a hoarder. Okay. Screen 3 on DVD. Screen 4 on DVD. Screen... 5. 5 on Blu-ray. Screen 4 on DVD. Blu-ray. Blu-ray. Yeah, so I don't know why she's getting rid of every single one. Personally, if I was keeping one, I would keep this one. I did keep one screen box set though. Because look. Which you can't say to see it, so it's a really nice one. But, did you actually get, how much you get for this on its own? Uh, four quid. Four pounds, but four. the question is, do you get more than them individually? Because you've done that before, you've split up a box set, haven't you? Yeah, I'll have to have a look. We'll have to have a look and we'll get back to you on that one. So I need to just check, you don't get much of them individually, but I would always say keep an eye out for this in the charity shops because we bought, we've traded this in about three or four times, I haven't read this one. Yeah. You can pick these up for like a quid in charity shop, you get four quid. Millie wants to say hello, excuse my toes. And then you got another edition, so they're both still worth four quid, which 
I don't know why she's getting rid of them. I would have personally kept them, but that's Lisa for you. But you should get rid of your standard 4Ks if you've got them on Steelbook. I still agree. <laughs> you said you don't want to double dip. I can't get rid of the standard 4K and all the Steelbooks off screen. Okay, I I'll let you the DVDs and the blu ray That's as far as it will go, okay. Yeah, Millie's figured I don't agree. <laughs> Millie, get your bum out the camera. No one see your ass crack. <laughs> yeah, so comment down below. Do you have any shrines? Minnie's saying hello. Do you have any shrines that you keep? Okay, I've got Space Jam. I've got the 4K, the Blu-ray, and the, the like German like artwork one. But I think that is everything up to now. If we come across any more, we'll let you know in the next clip. If we don't, you'll see us when we're at CX. Okay, before we continue, before we get to CX, I thought I'd add an additional clip in and show you. I will be purging some of the movies. Yes, Lisa's gone through them, watching them, but I've got some that I think I've got on 4K that I don't, I don't, I don't really check. We have got a lot on box, haven't we? It's like war movies all together. Yeah, we have, yeah. I've got the top of the door right now. Yeah, up there. But I will be purging. Lisa will be going through a horror movies to see if any films you can get on 4K. If you can get them on 4K, will you be selling them, Lisa? And then making a list of what you want to buy. Yeah, I did purge my um, horror movies if you go back a couple of episodes when it was like October time or something. I think I got to like P. So I need to continue that. Yeah, so Lisa will be purging them again, Lisa. <laughs> I'm thinking of getting rid of Chucky because you can buy down 4K. Do I, do yeah, I get... Movie, the movies. Yeah, do I get rid of the movies and upgrade mine to 4K? Wow. The Avril video collection. Yeah, why not? I do. It's like 80 quid. Yeah, I do. Saying that, though, no, I changed my mind. I'm going to buy, which we might pick up on this episode, we might not. I want to go and buy House of Dragon and 4K. Yeah, Michelle has been after that for a while. I want Game of Thrones, I'm not going to pay 100 quid. Yeah. And the next thing is, we're going to be going through Lisa's Network and my Sesame Street Perginese. What anything we've got doubles of, aren't we, Lisa? Yeah, I've just realised that a couple of episodes ago when I saw Con Street, I don't know if I've shown it on the cover. Well, I've got another one up there, I've just seen it. Eight, 1981, is it? You're going to have to get rid of that, ain't you? Yeah, I don't watch Con Street no more, unfortunately. Not even the old ones. Hey, Millie! I want to say hello, don't you, Millie? She's all tired. So, oh, leave me alone! <laughs> Okay, so she's come out of CX over there. This whole bag she couldn't take because apparently there was either too dusty, uh, fingerprints on them, and I'm not being funny yet. She was literally rubbing her finger around this, so she was putting the fingerprints on them herself. Michelle's just checking a few. There's literally nothing wrong with half of them. So what we're going to do is another day, we're just going to take them into another store. But we do have some pickups from CX, but I'll show you back at the car and I'll show you what voucher we had as well. <laughs> so, we're back at the car. Don't fuck it. If you're on our group, you would have already seen what all about. Oh so, okay. Trade in some stuff. I'm going to give you an example. Don't trade in stuff to see it, yeah? If you have a bit of dust. Apparently, that affects it. Okay. Lisa unsealed. She had two copies of the Friends game on PS2. She unsealed them because, as Lisa, you know, Lisa was going through the Friends, but now she gave it them. So, traded it in. She says, I can't take this, there's a fingerprint. Well, what do you expect? I'm going to show you on my own this that I bought. So what do you expect going right there? Literally, that, that, literally that's what she was doing. I was like texting Michelle at the same time as Michelle what she was doing. So then, she said about the friend's uh, box set. She goes, oh, I thought you just heard a moaning. And then the woman said to her, just open the disc, check the over. And she was like, I can't take this, there's a, there's a fingerprint. And then the woman next to her, yeah. the one who we normally always go to to get served, she was like, you can take it, just wipe it and put it in the disc cleaner. Hang on, man. So we've got another bag, we've got to take it to another store, so you make sure you check out the next purging video, I don't know whatever number this is. 
to see the update to see if we managed to get rid of everything. We so literally have a whole bag. You've got 900 pounds out to your glasses, Nikki, and your see fingerprints. Oh, shall I trade them into CX? <laughs> <laughs> So, we had a £96 voucher, was it £96? Yeah. £96 voucher, up to now. We've got another bag. For example, we had Reza Evil, oh, I can't take this, there's a fingerprint. I checked this, there's no fingerprints. And then she was like, oh, can't take this one, it's in a silver box. You know the, the essentials collection you get on the PS2, you can't take it. Because the picture on the website's a different one, I was like, fuck's sake. Like, does CX just employ anybody? But they don't know nothing, man, but you know more than them. Okay, so on, we did pick up a couple of things. As you would have seen on the Birmingham Town Centre, uh, City Centre pick up video, CX thing in Majiggy. Lisa was trading in her Spider Man into the Spider Man's homecoming and far from Yeah, home. so. And then I got the trooper pack to save space on the shelf. But the only one out of that pack I was missing, and I've never bought it before, is No Way Home. Good movie that is. No slip, no slip cover, but we're not one of these CX, uh, these collectors on YouTube. I like to buy slip covers separately. <laughs> That's stupid, that is. Yeah, like pay him with someone for not, not even a legit. Uh, it's not like you go in and buy a legit cover with some people do sell, and that's fine. But when you pay 10, 12 quid for something that someone makes, I'm like, what? Stupid. Yeah. Lisa's glasses are bugging me. I can see they're at the corner of me. I've got the fingerprints off. Then, put the lens. Yeah. So Lisa, so it's it's working, so Lisa picked up a phone, she picked the Cannibal one, one the other week, so she got number two. This stars Jackie Chan, Burt Reynolds, Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Shirley MacLaine, Teddy, blah blah blah. The usual. It's got special features including theatrical trailer, stills gallery, and obviously renewed into 1080. Lisa said this is like a Herbie comedy adult version of it. Mm. There's Jackie Chan. Where is it there? You made eight pounds for this. My little workers do stuff, we just kept swapping and moving around. Just can't explain the worker. So it was there for about an hour or so. Normally we go in like quite early, but it was like 11 o'clock we got there. Yeah, and the queue was starting to get big. So we're going to bring it back in at another she was, day. She was so slow. And I was thinking to myself, because the queue's getting quite big, well, didn't you pick the pace up? Okay, I would admit one of the games did have a disc burn on, which I forgot to take out. That was Cartoon Network. But that was fine because I we um, got them to disc clean it, didn't we? No, we're gonna not we're gonna, we're gonna get them to disc clean it next time or pay or we're gonna just donate them to a child shop and let them decide what they wanna do because people buy just cases, aren't they? Yeah. We did donate a few. Yeah, donated a few that were ten P I was like, I can't be bothered, take them back in ten P just donate them to charity shop. So we picked up some PS5 get uh, picked up a PS5 games, one player, four gigs, this is giving me jet set major. Five this is Bomb Rush Cyberpunk. 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 Yeah, and that's what it looks like on the back. I'm not going to put gameplay that we normally do, just quick video. It's long enough as it is, so we hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to scan any QR codes. Comment down below the question of the day is when you traded to CX, what's the one thing that the workers always say that bugs you? Mine is, oh, we can't take this because there's a fingerprint. Or, we can't take, she, there was a, I took a image of a reprinted cover and it said CX reprinted inside. So I can't take this. What about that one time when we took a game in CX, yeah? And there was like, can't take this, got a scratch on it. It was a fucking hair, for fuck's sake. It was a hair, man. Yeah. Get over yourself. So again, we hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and most importantly, don't forget to hit that notification bell to get all the latest updates. And don't forget to share it to any of your friends, family, and whichever you want. I don't really care what you want to do, you can do whichever way you want. And I'm thirsty and I'm hungry because I've had breakfast yet. And now we've got some errands to run, so stay safe, keep on hunting.